Good afternoon. My name is Greg Gorick. I'm the Chief of Police for the Haines City Police Department. The reason we're here this afternoon is I wanted to bring your attention to an event that occurred on Friday, March 1st in our early morning hours. Now, some of you were getting ready to go to work. Some of our students were waiting at local bus stops, awaiting to get on that bus and head to their last day of school for the week. Unfortunately, at one of our bus stops, two students decided to get to an argument, which later led to a physical altercation. Now, what makes this newsworthy is that one of the student's adult family members decided to get involved in the fight as well. In fact, instigating the fight between the two juveniles. On the video that you'll see in a few minutes, you're gonna see that this adult, who was supposed to be there to make sure that the students got on the bus safely, is using profanity, encouraging the fight, and even at one point becomes involved herself. This is totally unacceptable. Parents should be there to make sure that when kids do something they're not supposed to, that they intervene, either by setting a good example or calling the police or trying to break up a fight such as this. Now, unfortunately, our officers were not on scene when this occurred and arrived shortly after everything had settled down. Now, through a steadfast investigation, our officers were able to speak to witnesses and even collect a video from one of the students that had been filming with their cell phone camera during the melee. They were able to quickly establish that 28-year-old Tatiana Duffy was the adult family member who was instigating the fight and even became involved herself. She ended up being charged with battery as well as contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Now, the juvenile suspect who instigated the fight, we are not naming, but they were also charged with battery. Both the juvenile suspect as well as Ms. Duffy were placed under arrest and were transported to the respective facilities. So as you saw, this was a pretty intense situation. Luckily, no one was seriously injured and everybody was able to walk away except for the two individuals who were criminally charged. I want the community to know that actions like this are not tolerated by the police department. The school bus stop is an extension of the school and students should feel free and safe enough to go to the bus stop, get on the bus, go to school and return later in the day without fear of having to be attacked by other students, let alone another parent. My officers will continue to patrol the bus stops in the morning and the afternoons to ensure that these incidents don't occur, but we also ask for the community's help. If you have free time in the morning and the afternoons, please, as parents, go to the bus stops and just keep an eye out to make sure that nothing occurs. If you do see something that's occurring, please call 911 and let us know so we can have officers respond.